How's it going? I'm just going to do a quick little review here, run through of Fedora 13, the newest release. Um, this is actually running really stable right now, considering I just installed it and there's a lot of updates that I'm going through right now. I just installed about 50 and it's not 125. But yeah, it seems to be working very stable. Um, as far as preloaded stuff goes, basically all the normal stuff you get with Dora releases, but just a little bit more updated. The um, previous IM client, the Pidget, or whatever they used to call it, they uh, decided to use Empathy instead, which I don't mind because I prefer Empathy. Um, and just like the Thunderbird thing that they used, the Evolution, they kept that, which is good. Um, which is cool about this distribution of this release is it has the uh, backup tool, which is I think very very useful, um, and will make a lot of people happy. Considering it's a pretty good uh, little program to include. Um, also, a good one that I haven't seen before is the color profiles, and I've read on forums that people were looking for these this kind of program, which is it's pretty neat that they actually did put it in, so they clearly put different people's thought into the, into the project, so it's good. But yeah, it's going to be pretty useful if you know how to use it. Um, as far as hardware goes, and compatibility with uh, the hardware on computers, and well, my computer in general, it seemed to work fine. Everything works. The only thing, it's not even a big thing, but the wireless light on the laptop doesn't always come on, but I'm still connected to the internet. I'll show you. It just, the wireless end of my laptop just doesn't come on. It comes on like probably 75% of the time, but the other 25 just nothing. But that's not really a big deal. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, and there used to be problems with printers as well through uh, the different distributions just since you have people have a lot of Windows printers and they weren't made for Linux. Um, they have a... It just basically automatically detects the printer now. It's pretty useful. There's still a few bugs, but for the most part, it works really well. Um, and if you're wondering why it's slow, it's just because this computer that I'm on right now, it's not the newest, and when I had Windows on it previously, it screwed up the hard drive, so it's not working too well, but I'm glad that I can at least run it, run Linux on it, and run it, like, usably, so that I can at least do some productivity on it, but yeah, it's uh, pretty good, because I'm selling my gaming laptop anyway, because I'm just going to completely switch to Linux, because Windows, in my opinion, sucks, <laughs> even though gaming is fun and all that, but you can find a way to do it on Linux, and Linux, with a Linux, we wouldn't be able to do any of that stuff on our servers or anything, so, yeah, it's pretty, pretty lucky that we have a free distribution of OS out there, that we can, like, look at and say, hey, this is, to me, just as good as Windows, well, I think it is. And the fact that Ubuntu is trying to beat out Mac OS, which I think it has the capability of doing, and I think it's more powerful, and can easily be more powerful. But um, that's basically it for this. Uh, if there's any questions.